for buying the Remington Professional Home Haircut Set. To make using the set even easier, we've produced this video to help you become familiar with home haircutting and enable you to create professional looking hairstyles for all of your family. There are two models, a mains operated version and also a mains rechargeable one. Whichever model you've bought, the haircutting techniques shown in this video apply to either unit. Whether you want to create classic or up-to-the-minute styles, the Remington Professional Haircut Set is all you need. We'll show you how to create four popular looks in a simple step-by-step -step format, each of which is numbered during the program. This means you can easily rewind or fast-forward to find the style you want to create. The first style is called the Classic Cut. The second is the Contemporary Cut. The third is the mushroom cut and the fourth is a classic bob. So you can see there's something here to suit almost everyone. Before you start work on the hair you need to familiarize yourself with the Remington Professional Home Haircut Set. The main item is the clipper itself. You'll find the on off switch on its left side. As you'll see later on you can use just the clipper on its own to tidy up around the nape of the neck and with a comb to blend in layers of hair. You will find an adjustable taper lever on the left hand side. By moving this upwards you can move the blades closer together and get an ultra close cut from using the clipper without an attachment comb. There are also five attachment comb guides so you can control and cut hair to exactly the length you want. They're very clearly marked in millimetres. Attachment 1 leaves just 3 millimetres of hair, while attachment 2 leaves a length of 6 millimetres. Attachment 3 leaves 9 millimetres of hair, and attachment 4 leaves a length of 12 millimetres. There's also a large attachment comb guide which leaves 25 millimetres of hair. It's always advisable to start with the longest comb guide to cut longer lengths until you become more confident. You can always cut hair shorter, but you can't put it back once it's been cut. To use the comb attachments, all you need to do is slide them over the blade until they sit securely on the clipper. With the set, there is a tube of clipper oil, which keeps the blades well lubricated to prolong the life of your clipper blades and ensure the clipper always works efficiently. Not using it could lead to hair snagging on the blades. Remember it's very important to always oil the blades before every haircut. With the mains operated clipper there is a small white screw on the left hand side which ensures you get the best cutting performance from your clipper. If the clipper does not function properly, even after oiling, you may need to adjust this power screw. Use a small coin or screwdriver to turn this screw in a clockwise direction until it stops. If the clipper makes a loud clattering noise like this, then slowly turn the power screw anti-clockwise until the noise just stops. If it doesn't make this noise, turn the screw back to the original position you started from. We've enclosed a pair of hair scissors for tidying and trimming and there's also a comb to be used alongside the clipper to check that you're getting an even result. Before you start work, here are some basic pointers. Ensure you don't stoop to cut someone's hair. If necessary, as with children, sit them on cushions to make sure they're at the right height. Place a towel around the shoulders to prevent the hair sticking to clothing. Leave the hair dry while you use the clipper. This will show you how the hair naturally falls so you get a better result. Work in good light so you can clearly see what you're doing. Now you're ready to use the clipper for the first time. Hold it in the palm of your hand keeping your wrist flexible so you're able to smoothly follow the line of the head. Slide on the appropriate attachment bearing in mind that you should always start with the longest comb guide first. Now switch on the clipper using the on-off switch. The first style we're going to look at is the classic cut on Paul. Start by combing through the hair to remove any tangles. 
This will also give you the chance to see the hair's natural movement. Slide on the 12 mm comb, then guide the clipper up the back of the head, starting at the nape of the neck. As you cut, gradually pull the clipper towards you, removing it once you reach ear level. This will graduate the hair. Now work across the sides of the head, lifting the longer hair on top out of the way as you go. Take the time to blend in the side and back sections so you get an even result around the head. Next, remove the attachment from the clippers and take the comb. Working on one small section at a time, guide the clipper blades over the top of the comb to trim uneven hair. Constantly check the hair is even in length as you work your way gradually around the head. Now, using the scissors, cut the hair on the crown of the head. Hold the hair up between your index and middle fingers and cut to the required length. Work from the back to the front, using the hair you've just cut as a guide for the hair you're working on now. Finally, blend in any uneven layers to neaten up by using the clipper over the comb. Now use the clipper blades to tidy up around the nape of the neck. To produce a clean outline around the sideburns and ears, turn the clipper over. Gently press the blade at right angles to the head, with the tip of it lightly touching the skin. Work downwards to create a sharp outline. Finally, slip on the 9 or 6 mm attachment to create a more tapered finish to the area around the nape of the neck and the ears. cut we're going to look at is the contemporary style on John. It has lots of volume and layers and an angular look. First, comb through the hair, working it in the direction you're going to use the clippers. Slide on the 12 mm attachment and start at the back of the head, sweeping the clipper upwards and outwards. This will start to create an angular look as the top section will be left with more hair than the nape. Then move the clipper around the sides of the head, holding upper longer layers of hair out of the way. Work on small sections at a time, constantly checking through what you've done to ensure the overall result is even. Keep on combing through the hair to check you haven't missed any areas. Use the scissors and comb to reduce the bulk of hair on top of the head and to start blending this section into the hair that's already been cut. Lift the hair away from the head while cutting, as this will naturally create a layered effect. Take your time and work methodically around the head. Now, to emphasize the angular shape you've created, work over the same area with the clipper blade and comb. Remember to always work from the back of the head forward. Use the hair you've just cut as a guide for the next section you're working on to ensure an even look. Use the scissors over the comb to cut the hair on the crown of the head. Pull the fringe section upwards and away from the head before trimming. This will create a long, softly layered look. Define the top section of hair by working over it with the clipper and comb. Use the clipper blade to tidy up an outline around the nape and ears. Then slide on the 9 or 6 mm attachment and work it around the hairline for a closer cut and more tapered shape.
Finally, tousle the hair and push it into place with your fingers. Our third style is the mushroom cut on Nikki, which combines the use of the clipper and the scissors. First, comb through the hair thoroughly. Then divide the hair on top into small sections, twisting each one out of the way and securing it into place with sectioning clips. Now you're going to use the clipper to cut the lower section of hair. Using the 12mm attachment, sweep the clipper up the back of the head from the nape to ear level. Constantly check the area you've cut to ensure an even result. Then work across the sides of the head, holding the attachment comb flat to the head as you move it through the hair. Slide on the 9 or 6mm attachment to give a closer cut and more tapered effect around the nape of the neck and ears. Now you're ready to start cutting the mushroom shape using the scissors. Release the hair from the clips and comb through thoroughly to remove any tangles. Start work on a small section of hair at the back of the head, clipping up the rest of the hair out of the way. Pull the hair slightly away from the head as you cut it to create a very soft layered effect. Keep the length to just above ear level all around the head to create the mushroom shape. Comb through the hair between cuts to ensure the result is even. To help you cut a straight line, use the hair you've just cut as a guide for the next section you're working on. This way you can be sure of a balanced result. Work slowly and steadily, taking your time. Then slowly lifting the comb through the hair, cut over the top of it to emphasize the line you've just cut. Finally, snip into the fringe with the end of your scissors, lifting it slightly away from the head to get a lightly layered effect. Once you've completed this style, you can sweep it away from the face to emphasize the graduation and maximize the layered appearance of the hair. The final style we're going to look at is a classic bob on Emma. It's created entirely using the scissors and comb in your professional haircut set. First of all, you should comb through the hair to remove any knots and tangles. It's a good idea to start at the ends of the hair to avoid combing tangle onto tangle. Next, you need to divide the hair into sections to make it easier to handle. Divide into two, leaving a section at either side of the face. Then divide one half of the hair horizontally across the back of the head, twisting the top section out of the way with a clip. This will leave a lower section of hair at the back of the head for you to start working on. You're now going to use the scissors to cut the hair. The head should be facing forward so you can cut an accurate line. Ensure you keep the hair flat and close to the head because this way you'll get a blunt cut without any layering. Hold the hair firmly down between your index and middle fingers and then trim off the required length. Work on one small section of hair at a time. Gradually release upper layers of hair combing through before cutting. Use the hair you've just cut as a guide for the next section you're working on. Carry on in the same way until you've released all the top layers and cut them in. Then move around the side of the head, constantly checking the hair you've worked on. Continue cutting the hair around the other side of the head, releasing layers gradually as you go. Check it balances with the other side by using the hair that's already been cut for guidance. To cut the fringe, tuck the rest of the hair behind the ears so you can see exactly the area you're working on. 
the eyes should be closed to prevent hair getting in them. Cutting freehand, snip your way along gradually, checking it all matches up perfectly. Now you've seen what the Remington Professional Home Haircut Set can do, you're ready to use it yourself. Before you start, remember these basic rules. Take your time. Make sure you have plenty of time to complete your style, especially the first time you use the set. You will become quicker as you become more efficient. Work in small sections, working on small areas of hair at a time to achieve a balanced result. Use the largest attachment comb guide first. You can always move on to a shorter one later on. Use this video. Remember to use the rewind, fast forward and pause buttons to help you complete each style successfully. Refer to the instruction leaflet. It will give you extra details on how to use and care for your set. Thank you for buying the Remington Professional Home Haircut Set. We hope you enjoy using it to create these styles and many more for your family.